Today we're going to review releasing print jobs using HP's job storage feature. This is available on the Hewlett Packard M4345, the CM4730, and the M3035. The process is the same for all three devices. We will be using a M4345 today for an example. Once you're in the document that you want to print, your driver should already be set up and configured for you by your IT department to automatically do a job storage. Once you pick the printer that you're going to print to, you want to choose print. You should see a pop-up appear that will tell you that this job was being sent with your username displayed as well as the name of the job that went out to the machine. You can press OK to this. If you do not want to see these messages again, you can also check mark to not be advised of these anymore. Once you get to the machine, you will then release the job so it can print. It's now been stored on the hard drive of the printer you chose. Once you walk up to the machine you need to retrieve your job storage from, you want to look for the job storage button. You may have to scroll up or down to get to it, but there should be a block called job storage. Once you press it, your user ID should appear here. The name will be, for SAP employees, the I number. Inside, you can see the job here. Once you touch it, your pin option will appear. You can either touch the white box and fill the number in, or you can use the keypad to the side. Once you enter your number, it'll appear unlocked. From here, you can just press start to print, or you can delete the job. Once the job has been printed, it'll be deleted from the hard drive and removed. That is how you release a print job using job storage mode with the HP multifunction.